the sites. Okay, so I came across this post on my Facebook today. It was talking about um, these five qualities that um, are most important to people in a relationship, okay? Now, it says to put these in order of importance to you, okay? Now, um, the qualities, the, the things that are important are sex, communication, finances, looks, and religion. I'm going to give you my five in my order, all right? And when y'all get done watching the video, make sure y'all post down below the order that's most important to y'all, all right? Now, and it's funny too, if Sarah wasn't working all these crazy hours, I would have had her in this damn video because you, it was funny. I thought of mine 10 seconds after I read it. She, it took her literally almost 10 minutes to figure out her list. And she kept like, oh, but if this, and then that, but then if this, I'm like, oh my God, fuck it. I went straight forward. I'm looking at it from meeting the person to dating, marriage, all that stuff, all right? I'm thinking of it as in real life how I'm going to do it. All right, so without further ado, here's my list, all right? Um, first is looks. Some of y'all be like, you superficial motherfucker. Nah, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think the, the people that get mad when you say looks first is only the people who think that they ugly. You know, they be like, well, why don't you look at me for my personality? You know what I mean? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, look. The reason why I say looks is because, first of all, how am I going to even want to get to know you unless I'm attracted to you? I got to be attracted to you, correct? You got to be attracted to me, correct? I'm not talking about the situations where it's like, oh, I work with her and I got to know her over five years. Nah, because I wasn't attracted to her at first. I just learned her personality. No, I want to be initially attracted to a woman. So looks are numero uno. And you, as you know me, I like sexy more than I like Beautiful. Sexy does something to me. Sexy, like, sexy makes me say, ooh, damn, she look good. But sexy also ignites my loins, you know what I'm saying? Like, beautiful, sometimes he's just so pretty, I don't even want to touch him. Like, oh, she look, she's so pretty. She's so nice. I just want to pinch her cheek. Some girls is, like, pretty cute. Like, they got that pretty, but they're really cute. Like, I just don't even want to. Anyway, look, that's a different video. So, number one, looks. Number two, communication. Okay? The reason why I thought about this is because, you know, some, some brothers will say, nah, nigga, nah, nigga, sex. Sex is number, no, 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 well, actually, this would be num number, number, yeah. Yeah, looks is number one for me, most important so far, okay? So, um, sex is number, no, I'm sorry. Communication. Now, look, communication because the majority of the time, we are communicating, no matter what it is. So if we can't talk, if we can't have a stimulating conversation, we can't laugh, we can't have fun, if we don't understand each other, if we can't work problems out, what the fuck am I doing with you? All right? Because you're just going to be a pretty girl that I got a bunch of problems with and I can't talk to. Okay? Because you can't have sex all day long, right? Well, you could, but you're going to be severely dehydrated, all emaciated and sucked up looking. You can't just fuck all day long. Now, number three, sex. Yes, because that is how we make love. That is how we communicate our love for each other. And that actually keeps the, it, 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 it beyond, besides communication, communication creates to me a bigger bond than even sex does. Because like I said, it's the majority of the relationship is communication. But sex creates a bond in a whole other different way. Y'all all know what bomb ass sex does to you. You know it. You know it all had it put on you or you done put it on somebody else and saw how it changed the dynamic of your relationship and how either how close you were to each other or how that close that person became to you. Like, damn, I put it on them. I didn't expect this to happen to them. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes killing themselves over girls out there because the coochie that damn good. So, sex is... Number three, because it's going to keep the, the, the relationship passionate. It's going to keep a connection. It's going to keep a fire in our eyes and in our relationship. Now, finances is next. Look, I want to spend the rest of my life with a person that I can do things with. You know, do a lot of activities. 
activities with, travel the world with, you know, and just enjoy financial stability. Most um, relationships break up over money. So it's extremely important to me to have your money in check. If you don't have it together when we first meet, that's fine, shit. I done had my problems with money, um, but I'm saying you can work on it together because financial stability creates a peace of mind unlike any other, especially living in this type of society right now we live in. Last is religion. And the reason why I say that is some of y'all would say number one because you don't want to become unevenly yoked. But number, it's, it's, it's last for me because at the point in my life, I am searching for truth. And every other thing that I've looked at so far as religion has not worked for me. I found holes in it that people, even the most studious, can't answer for me. So I'd like to find something that I can feel comfortable with and, you know, know that it is the one true way, if, if there is one at all. So since I'm still in search for it and God, it is last on my list for now. So. Let me know what y'all think is your top five. As I will review, mine was looks, communication, sex, finances, and religion. All right? Oh, man, subscribers. Woo!